Hello guys, my name is Yelena. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a cute fall themed cake with a little squirrel on top and we're gonna do some leaves and acorns. For acorns I just used ivory fondant. Let's roll it on a bowl and we're gonna taper just a little bit one end like so and I already made all mine. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the brown fondant and let's make the top part of the acorn. So divide in pieces how many you need and then I'll roll it in a bowl and then you flatten some. Again, for glue I usually just use plain water and stick your ivory part on top of that like so and smooth it out a little with your fingers. And then I'm gonna use my handy tool, which is <laughs> a pen, but I like see a little uh, circle on top of it. And I'm gonna make imprints on the top of my acorn. Like so, just do it all over. Okay, and again with just a little dab of water, let's attach a little uh, stem. Okay, here's your acorn. So repeat for the rest of how many you think you need for your cake. For the squirrel part, I use styrofoam for this one. You can use Rice Krispie treats, that way it's all edible. But I'm gonna use styrofoam, that way um, customer can keep it if they like. Just take it off the cake and put it on the shelf and nothing gonna get moldy. So I'll just freehand cut out shape that I like and I'm gonna wrap it in an ivory or light tan fondant, so pre-roll it, kind of thick, because we're gonna do texture on it. So again, I just brush it with a little water on top, and let's gonna wrap it up. Okay, and using your hands and fingers, try to smooth it out. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about it being nice and no tears because we're gonna put some texture on the squirrel so any extra lines or wrinkles you're not gonna see much so I'm not worried about it so just smooth it out as good as you can cut excess fondant off Okay, now let's make a little marks for the nose and eyes and look straight at it and just make sure your eyes are symmetrical like so 
then dab a little water on the front and using white fondant let's attach a chest piece make sure it's nice and straight cut what you don't need and using my tools let's make a little fur so just make a texture on it until you like it and it looks a little fur gonna stick a little wires through the chest where I'm gonna attach my egg corn make sure it doesn't fall off because it's such a large piece and the wire will help it to stay in place now let's make a legs so I'm gonna roll a sausage and kind of eyeball it the size good enough if not just keep adjusting until you satisfied and of course when you make the one that you like the size just copy that for the other leg use it as a template and just trace it Okay, now we got two the same size legs. Using just water, attach it to your squirrel. Make sure it looks right. And now it's time to make a little toes. So cut that off and smooth the legs. Make sure they nice and flat against the body. And of course, don't forget the texture. Um, add to it because you've been touching it with your hands. So add where it's not enough texture, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna do exact the same thing for the arms. Thank you. 
Okay, now let's attach eyes and ears. For the tail I'm gonna roll out darker brown fondant and again just by eyeball cut out the shape that you think fits then I'm gonna hold it against the squirrel and see if I like it and I do so again don't forget the texture and then I'm gonna use wires run through I'm gonna use two Alright guys, so this is the next day, so our squirrel nice and dry, so let's make another more decorations. We're gonna do leaves, and I'm gonna use um, just the regular cutters, and I'm gonna use yellow fondant, and I'm gonna use some orange, so cut out the leaves that you need, and I'm gonna use veiners for the texture on the leaf, so press the veiner on top, and it gives you nice lines. Okay. Okay, now for the leaves, I'm gonna use airbrush and uh, uh, create a little dimension by spraying them different colors and make them look like fall and they uh, go in. So yellow, so I'm gonna use some orange and um, browns and greens and uh, create a little dimension with that.
Did I mention how much I love my little airbrush? Okay, now we're gonna make the top of our cake. Looks like a stump, so I'm gonna use some white icing. And then I'm gonna pipe brown icing on top on a circle, like so. Then I'm gonna take my spatula and smear it. And I'm gonna use comb the, with the texture, the one that looks like a little teeth. And I'm gonna hold it on top of the cake and I'm gonna spin the cake until it looks right. So just hold your comb and um, let it do its magic. And whichever icing got over the edge, go ahead and smooth it down so it's not sticking out. Just like that. Then I'm gonna use my um, chocolate icing and cut the bag a little wider opening and I'm gonna squeeze my icing all over the cake like so. Make sure it sticks over the edge a little bit. If it's not enough, you can just pipe over. That way it will look more like a tree stump. All right, so just go all the way around. Then smooth the top a little bit so it looks more like a bark. Then we'll smooth the edges, make sure it's nice, um, covered, nice and even, so we don't have any thick spots. And then we're gonna use a little bag and pipe our roots from the stump, and a little uh, branches. Okay. Now we're gonna use very fancy tool, a fork, <laughs> and let's create the texture of the bark. Okay, now let's finish our decorations. I like to put a little big um, leaf first and then I'm gonna put squirrel on top of that so he doesn't get too dirty from the icing. Um, just in case if they wanna keep him, like so. And let's rearrange the rest of decorations that we pre-make, our acorns and leaves.
so here's our cake when we're done. I think it turned out pretty cute. Little squirrel sitting on a tree stump with the little cute acorn. All right, thank you for watching my video. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. I love you so much.